Yeah. What is the one thing that you missed most? It would very much be, and I'm sure my girl would agree, uh, spending quality time with family and friends. Because fortunately, we get, to, we get to spend time with one another, but we do miss out on moments because so consumed with the pageant. But soon enough, we're all going to be able to spend time with them again. So we're looking forward to that for sure. What is the biggest challenge you've faced as a Filipino woman, and what do you do to hurdle the challenge? I think one of the biggest challenges that Filipino face today are being limited by still being shadowed by, unfortunately, men or in society. But I think my platform and me standing here in front of you today, I can encourage women that you too can stand up, you can be strong, you can be powerful, you can own your own destiny, like I plan to tonight. women, the most awesome, amazing women in the world. Every Filipino men are empowered women. And I see it through my mother because when my father passed away, I see the courage, the strive to be strong, to take care of our family. And I believe that that is the true as of how every empowered Filipino woman should really emanate up to them. Thank you. Here we go. What is your breakthrough or big achievement and how did it improve you as a person? Being here in this prestigious pageant or the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 is my greatest achievement. The Tara before is someone who doesn't really limit, I will really limit herself when it comes to her achievements. Where I step here, here, here in this Miss Universe Philippines and I see the transformation, the improvement and how I was able to become in, an inspirational woman that I am now. And that is somewhat, something that I will be proud of after this journey. Thank you. Maria Atisa Manalo.
I want to know, out of all these ladies here, who would you pick? And be smart about it now, because you're stuck there. Who would it be and why? How many can I pick? Um, I'm for sure a lot of the girls would feel bad if I just pick one. I have a lot of best friends in this competition. But I would pick Miss Carino because she is a mom. And she, I know she would be able to take care of me. And I take care of her as well. Okay. Thank you. Smart answer. Women learn from each other. What is the biggest lesson that you've learned from another woman and how did it improve your life? My grandmother put me through school and the biggest lesson I have learned from her is to always be kind. She is someone who has a big heart and took care of me since I was a kid. And I do think that my grandmother is someone that I can look up to. She is someone that is an embodiment of what a great woman is. Thank you. Stacy Daniela Gabriel, go in Juicy secret you have never told anybody else before. Go. Are you kidding me? In front of the whole universe? We're your family. It's Filipino. Okay, well, I, I guess the secret will be that I have so much hairspray on, I am extremely flammable. So don't come near me, anybody with a lighter. <laughs> Women have inspired you all throughout your life. Now tell us about how you have inspired another woman. You know, I've been told many times that I am too short to join a beauty pageant. But now I realize that pageants are a representation, a reflection of that very nation. And tonight, I am not only representing myself, but every Filipina woman sees themselves in me. I hope to inspire every Filipina that just like the universe, we too are limitless. Elsie Manalo Bulacan. to who had the choice not being able to wear heels or getting your favorite food delivered to you anytime any day wherever you are in the world 
So one of the things that I also want to share here is that I love to eat ice cream. It's one of my comfort foods. So behind the stage, whenever I get to eat ice creams while wearing my heels, is both thing that I actually like to share with you guys. So it's a both win for me. Seeing how you. beautiful and confident how would you use these qualities to empower others as a woman of color I have always faced challenges in my life I was told that beauty is has standard actually but for me I have listened to always believe in my mother to always believe in yourself uphold the vows that you have in yourself because of these, I am already influencing a lot of women who are facing me right now as a transformational woman. I have here 52 other delegates with me who have helped me to become the woman I am. Thank you.